And this is the Wander to Provoke series. This is the 21 liter, 21 liter bag. And I'm gonna show you why this is such a good bag and why the original one is actually good enough for you in 2022, even though they release uh, a new one. What makes this bag so special? So this is the original Provoke line bag and I am personally very impressed with the build construction. As you can see, this is water resistance. It's a clamshell opening and when you open it up, there's a lot of room for everything. Now the latest edition actually has some improvements. Uh, for example, you have an updated hidden passport pocket which is bigger for uh, your boarding pass. You also have a luggage pass-through strap. Uh, you have stronger magnets uh, for the handle. And you have things like um, where the laptop sleeve is right now. You actually have three additional pockets there. Now, if you don't need the latest and greatest, then I'd highly recommend you look for the original Provoke line bag simply because you are going to get it at a sale price or a discounted price. Uh, basically, anywhere you go right now, anywhere you shop online, uh, these ones are being discounted. And I really feel that there is a lot of value for how much you pay. Uh, this one here is the four point access for the camera and you can actually just take out your camera while you're holding it so that's pretty cool here and it's very convenient and of course fitting a full frame mirrorless camera is no issue this bag is 21 liters so that's plenty of room as well so one thing you will notice about this bag is that there is a ton of hidden pockets everywhere and this is just another example of it I just put my charger here, um, just an external charger at the top. And here is one of the really cool high quality clips that they have, these, I guess you can call it a hook. And it just unwraps like that. And it's really awesome because you can put a ton of clothing on top. As you can see, there's just a lot of room. And I believe it expands up to 26 liters. So you're getting an additional uh, about five liters just from that. So it's really good for people who are using this for an everyday bag. The exterior is also very minimalist, which is one of the things that I really enjoy about this bag. And it doesn't look like a camera bag. And I think that's one of the main reasons I really like about it. Um, it doesn't get a lot of attention and it doesn't tell people that, oh look, I have a camera bag here and I'm carrying thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And I think that in itself is worth a lot. Um, I mean, it looks great, so it's still gonna get a lot of attention, I think, but not for the wrong reasons, I hope. Uh, and there's a ton of padding and a ton of pockets, like I've been saying, and it's really up to you, where you what you wanna put in here. Do you wanna put in your, like, your wallet or your keys? and is really well padded i've worn it around and it does feel very good it does feel very nice and sturdy and again this is just another close-up of how you can put your passport here so if you're traveling you don't have to worry about somebody uh, stealing your passport because it would be pretty difficult to get from uh, that area right there right and again quality very good all right so now we're just going to look at some close-ups of some of the pockets around this bag another secret pocket where you can put some important documents if you want here's a upper view a bird's eye view of the bag opened up and you can fit a full frame camera a backup camera uh, I just put a mic there some cables just to show you how much room there is again the side access pocket I'll show you how this works right here um, the camera cube actually opens up and allows you to access it from the side, which again is a great feature. And of course, a lot of bags are doing this nowadays. So this is kind of something that you have to have uh, if you want to have a competing bag. 
and again another uh, shot of how the um, laptop situation works here there is room for an iPad or a tablet if you like uh, I'm just putting my MacBook there for now so this bag weighs about 2.8 pounds it also fits a 16 inch MacBook Pro all right finally here are the dimensions on the real world use I'm about 510 and this is how it looks all right so there you have it that is the wandered provoke 21 series bag that's 21 liters expands to 26 liters it has uh, accessory loops bottle pocket it has a monopod holder um, the exterior is made out of ballistic nylon it's definitely waterproof water resistant and the warranty definitely helps all right if you like what you saw today hit the subscribe button and hit the like button for more videos like this